Xbox controller functionality for the SRV8. Simple functions. Very first, the left stick controls all the horizontal movement. So to go forward, simply push forward. To go in reverse, push in reverse. If you want to move the SRV8 sideways, crabbing sideways, you push left or right. The right stick controls both your pitch and your yaw. So if you want to yaw the vehicle left or right, you simply push left or right. If you want to pitch the nose of the vehicle down, you push forward and that will pitch the vehicle down. If you want to pitch it up, you pull back and that will pitch the vehicle up. The D-pad over here, as it's referred to, controls both the camera tilt function and the lights. Light intensity starts out with nine levels of intensity with zero being the lowest, meaning off. Push on the right side and that will step up your light intensity until you get to maximum light intensity nine. Push on the left side to step it back down. If you want to tilt the camera, SRV8 comes with the camera tilt function from horizontal. If you want to tilt the camera up, you push on the up on the D-pad. If you want to push down, tilt the camera down, you push down on the D-pad. You'll get an indicator on the screen showing what the angle of tilt is on your camera. When there is no display on the screen, no angle indicator, it means your camera is horizontal with the vehicle. You have a menu button here, which is to, uh, to enable, disarm, or arm the SRV8. When you first power it on, it will be disarmed. To give you control over the vehicle, you push the button once, and you'll have control of your thrusters and all your functionality. Push it again to disarm. This is useful if you want to make sure that uh, no one puts their fingers in there when, before you launch. On this side, you have another menu button. When you push this on the on-screen display, you'll get customizable menus that you can then uh, navigate to set such things as your pitch intensity, your uh, horizontal controls, and various other functions on, on the on-screen display. Push it again to exit. Uh, control up and down movement. The trigger buttons will control down, so the left trigger will cause you to descend. The right trigger will cause you to ascend. And then if you have a functioning grabber installed, the bumper buttons on the top control open and close. Now on this side, you have A, B, X, and Y button. A will lock your depth on the SRV-8, meaning it will hold its and maintain its depth. If you push on it or try to ascend or descend, it will stay at the set depth. And you'll get an indicator on screen saying that the depth has been locked in place. B will lock the heading, so it will maintain a heading. And then we also have a pitch function. And I'll come to the X and Y button in a second, but to activate the pitch function, you depress down on your stick and that will lock the pitch. Then when you try to do a pitch movement on the stick, it, it will try to correct for the pitch, but it'll always go back to the pitch that you locked at. If you want to change the pitch angle, you can step up by pushing Y and that will incrementally ratchet up, if you will, the angle of the SRV8. If you want to ratchet it down, you push on the X. And that is the basic functionality of the controller.